Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Movie Feuds. This is a very special episode. It really is. It commemorates our 50th anniversary well, of no, the show. Well, no, no, no. It, we haven't been on for 50 years, Adam. This is the 50th episode of Movie Feuds. It's, yeah, it's the same thing, anniversary. It's not, and, no. Uh, uh, well, okay, well. We we're going to look back on our uh, best episodes of Movie Feuds, but... We, we don't watch the show, we know, so... We don't know what it's like, Instead, so. top five best movies of all time. Starting now. Before we start our list, we should take a look back and acknowledge how far we've come on our show. Yeah, we've done a lot of different formats over the years, um, but we've abandoned all of them because we we're basically just ripping off other shows. Oh, yes. This movie was awesome! Well, I like this one about as much as I like Dog's Diarrhea. Check, please! Stay tuned, I got 50 more episodes coming up later today. Hey everybody in Schmoville, welcome to another episode of Movie Schmoes. We saw every movie over the weekend, we're gonna review them all right now. We loved them all, spoiler. You know what I loved about all the movies, is that they're all really they're good They're all movies. really good, yeah, yeah. Wow, your eyes are wide. Yeah. I mean, I feel like they're gonna blow up, right? Yeah. Anytime now. Yeah, Holy like shit! Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another Totally Rad Show. Are you ready for another 30 minute episode? Let's go! My top five list is far from tradish, short for traditional, because when you think of top fives or tens, you think of The Godfather or Scarface or Taxi Driver. Really? You don't, can I go? Okay. You don't think of Dumb and Dumber, my number five spot. That's fair, that's a good movie. It is a good movie, Corey. What is the soup du jour? It's the soup of the day. Mm -hmm. That sounds good, I'll have that. This is a comedy that doesn't let up from start to finish. It has more quotable lines in it than any other film to date. That's an undisputable fact. Well, I'm not even gonna try to dispute that. Well, because it's undisputable. That's what I hear. So that's my number five, you pumpkin pie haircutted freaks. Sir, no, wait, 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 wait. No, sir, don't, don't drink. You'd keep your mouth shut if you knew it was good for you, buddy. Number five on my list, uh, hands down, one of my favorite movies in the top five uh, would, since it's this yeah, list. I would, I would hope so. Good Will Hunting. Now, it came out when I was in high school, so it was a story I can relate to since I'm a genius. Academy Award winner Robin Williams, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Stellan Skarsgård, and Minnie Driver. Good Will Hunting. Nominated for nine Academy Awards. Tom Hanks gives a performance of a lifetime in my number four spot, Forrest Gump. Would you like a chocolate? Oh, thank you. This is a man who touches lives and hearts everywhere he goes. Who, Forrest Gump or Tom Hanks? Both. The world will never seem the same once you've seen it through the eyes of Forrest Gump. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Well, coming in at number four on my list is what I would consider to be an instant Western classic. The Quick and the Dead. No. Young Guns. No. Wyatt Earp. No. Tombstone. That works too. Justice is coming to Tombstone. We just pitted The Matrix versus Inception a couple weeks ago, and it's not a shock to me that The Matrix came out on top. I don't think that's accurate. Because it is my number three spot. My number three for my all-time greatest movie list, Gladiator. Are you not entertained? N no, just what we've already reviewed it. Just go watch that review. We'll get them something they've never seen before. Why is he still alive? Gladiators. I saw you. Today I saw a slave become more powerful than the Emperor of Rome. What we do in life echoes in eternity. Praetorian! Hans! That's a line from Die Hard, the number two spot on my list. Could have been a line from any movie with the character named Hans. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> well, yes, I guess it is. That's a bonus. <laughs> it's got the Twinkie cop in it, Sir Carl Winslow from Family Matters. Not his real name. I don't know if you know that. He's an easy guy to like. Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. And a hard man to kill. Bruce Willis, Die Hard. Got invited to the Christmas party by mistake. Who knew? Well, the second spot on my list is actually 1A because The Empire Strikes Back could have been number one. However, George yeah, Lucas over Star the years. That's Star Wars for those of you that don't know. It's yeah, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. I think Back. our viewership knew that. But, okay. uh, it, you know, George Lucas over the years, the platinum editions and the, you know, all the different things kind of just ruined diamond. the franchise for me, left a bad taste in my mouth. Star Wars left a bad taste in your mouth. Well. Only a free train, Jedi with the Force as his ally, will conquer Vader and his Emperor. We better start the evacuation. There is no escape. Don't make me destroy you. That boy is our last hope. No. There is another. I'd love to gush over my number one spot, but unfortunately, the first two rules of the film prohibit me from doing such. So it's Fight Club. Is that what you're trying to fill in our viewers since you're not going to talk about it? Can we move on? My number I'm one Jack's spot is oh. excited colon. Every time I watch this thing, it's a movie that you pick up more little gems every time you view it. And David Fincher, you know, how do you go wrong? You don't go wrong. Um, if <laughs> you were looking for a way to change your life. You got it. I'm stopping this. It's already done, so shut up. What kind of sick game are you playing? Oh my god. Where is my mind? Where is my mind? This is too much. In the end, you will thank me. Whoa! Whoa! And now the moment you've all been waiting for, my number one spot on the all-time greatest movie list ever in the history of movies. Feels like because you get to go last, it's more important. It is. Okay. Shawshank Redemption. Hands down, my favorite movie. I don't even know how many times I've seen it. Great cast, the best story ever written. I'm I fully, I fully that. agree. As a matter of fact, it was also on my list, but uh, Corey bitched and moaned. So I'd yeah, well, we don't agree on things, don't so when we do, it kind of leaves, you know. Yeah, we don't mix lists. You know, inner, inner, inner list mingling. Cross pollute no. list. <laughs> Hope, hope, it's a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. Damn it, Duke Rain, you're putting me behind! You better be sick or dead in there, I shit you not! We've given you our top movies of all time, uh, Adam's list and my list, and we want to hear from you as well. A little insight on our opinion on movies. Yep. Maybe we'll enjoy your top list too. We'll probably hate them. Oh, we will. I'm sure and we will. Uh, we'll comment, we'll respond to you in the comments on YouTube. So, yeah. more than just a views, this is Movie Feuds. Can I get a sound check? Tamber. It's not even on. He's not even there. Oh, Tamber? No, I fired him this morning. Hey, Schmoville. Welcome to another episode of Movie Feuds Schmoes Knows. Movie Feuds Schmoes Knows. <laughs> Isn't that what it was? What it was? <laughs> hey, everybody in Schmoville. Welcome to another episode of Movie Schmoes No Feuds. Hey everybody in Schmoville, welcome to another episode of Movie Schmoes No Foods. <laughs> hey everybody in Schmoville, welcome to another episode of Movie No Schmoville. <laughs> <laughs>